Hey folks, it's Teddy here. I just wanted to give a quick thanks to my patrons over at Patreon. It's because of you folks, season two is in existence. So thank you for that. Now, if you want to pledge and become a part of my Patreon team, just go to patreon.com backslash Teddy 330. So without further ado, here's the first episode of Ted Cath season two on Namthrax. Yuck. Hey, so <laughs> this is what Ted cast season two looks like so far. I, uh, you know, it's been a minute. Um, you know, I had some upgrades as you guys can see, um, upgraded from my old Canon 50 D to, uh, a, a, a Fuji XT 20. Um, because people kept on asking me, Hey, um, does your camera shoot video? You know, and you know, the 50D was the predecessor of the 60D. So that means the 50D didn't shoot video. So, you know, I had to, you know, trade in the 50D and then save up some money. And um, I got the X-T20. Um, also before that, um, the reason why I wasn't active on my, um, on my podcast was because I was on my first tour. Um, the Legacy Tour, which is basically um, a tribute show to Michael Jackson. Um, we won't even get into what's going on right now. I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I experienced my first tour. Also, shout out to Devin Morrison. We've been homies for, for um, a while, really cool people. And I'm really, really proud of this dude. This, this song that's playing right now, it's called I Echo. Um, it's just straight banger, like like straight 1990s R&B vibes. And he has an album coming out April 3rd called Bustin'. Make sure you go ahead and get that on Bandcap. He, he also intends on releasing it on vinyl and cassette. So please go ahead and support the homie. Um, he's also going on tour with Onra. Um, if you're not hip to Onra, peep his... Uh, record uh nobody has to know i got this while i was out in san jose i just picked it up for the album art and i thought it was dope it gave me like vaporwave um type feel so i had to get it um because i never had or owned a vaporwave record um but i really love the uh aesthetic that comes with it both musically and visually check out Anra. He makes some really, really dope beats and, uh, yeah, no cool people. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get to the topic at hand here. So, um, basically, you know, we're talking about Namthrax. So what Namthrax basically is, is when you go to Nam Show, which Nam Show is the National Association of Music Merchants, is there's two Nam shows that happen every year. It's been going on for over a hundred years, and um, basically, you know, you, you meet up with music merchants to try out new stuff um, that companies, various companies, small and big, release um, for the year. So you know that brings out a lot of people. You know, and you know, you bring out people from all walks of life from all over the world. And you know, not every person is the most hygienic person or, you know, you might have a hygienic person, but they might forget to, you know, wash their hands or, you know, have hand sanitizer. Do you, you hear where I'm going with this? You know, this, this is, I'm trying not to be funny, but this is pretty, this is pretty serious, you know? Um, what Namthrax is, is basically you can get sick before, during, or after Nam show, and whatever you catch can be contagious. And um, 
and I feel there's there's not enough people talking about it. It's kind of like um, the pink elephant in the room. Like you hear conversations about it, but you don't really hear like people talk talk about it. So I wanted I wanted to bring it up because you know my first name show was uh, Name Show 2014, and um, you know I was rooming with some homies. And um, shout out to Joey Oscar and everybody and, and uh, Corn and everybody out there. Um, and uh, Demetrius and everybody. Um, so, you know, I, I went to my first NAM show. And, you know, I started to get sick around the end of NAM show. And, um, you know, first the, the hotel air was a little dry. So um, I would get nosebleeds. And every time I blow my nose, I would get dried out chunks of blood and things like that and then every once in a while we'll get a sore throat but i've seen people that that experienced worse you know the symptoms can just be a regular cold because you might be coming from the east coast going to the west coast to you know full on throw up hacking like it's bad you know um and what you can do to prevent from prevent yourself from catching namthrax I gotta check how much time I have on here. It's basically, you know, carry hand sanitizer, carry an, a small bottle of hand soap just in case, you know, you go to the bathroom, do your business, and there's no hand soap in, in, in the bathroom. You got some hand soap on deck, you know. Um, carry some gum, you know, carry you know, a small tube of, of toothpaste and, and a toothbrush or something, you know, like take care of yourself. That's all, that's all I'm basically saying. You know, take, take care of yourself. Um, because um, I've heard horror stories of, you know, from other musicians of like, like a friend of mine, he's like, man, I, I was at a booth and I, was, I looked across from another booth and saw some dude uh, scratching his butt and then he shook hands with someone. Like, you don't want traces of doo-doo on your hands, do you? Like, you don't. It's chocolate. This is doo doo, baby. I said, ah! Oh man! No, you don't want that. You don't want. You don't want to get that sickness. You know, like you want to be down with the sickness, but not that kind of sickness. You dig? Like you don't want that. Um. You know, and I've seen people like at net, like like I would have to use the bathroom, and then I would see people, you know, using the use, use, using the bathroom, and then they come out the stall and walk past the sink and walk out the door. Like, yo. Oh my God. Like, seriously? Like, that is just straight, just, that's nasty, you know? <laughs> you know? You're nasty. It's just, I, I, I just don't get, like, musicians already have this stereotype of being dirty. Like, you don't, want to be in a professional situation where you're, you're just being dirty and nasty, you know, like, 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 for example, like, you don't want to be like, okay, like you represent yourself, you're your own person. Okay, that's cool. But at the end of the day, you still represent a certain demographic. So if you're coming up to a NAM show booth, you know, smelling like doo-doo butter and weed, you know, you're going to give off that impression to the rep that everybody from your demographic is like that. You don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? You do not. It's just, it's bad. You know, it's bad for business. It's bad for you because, you know, companies talk, you know, and you got a name badge. You got a name badge around your neck. So it has your name and then the company you're with and you coming up to the booth smelling like straight up blunts and duty butter and mustiness, you know, like that's just, I don't know how people be like that sometimes, you know? And, and I, I can't accept the fact that, that someone will say, well, you know, it be like that sometimes. No, like you're a grown ass man, dead ass. Like wash yourself, <laughs> you know? be presentable like if you if you just want to come to nam show with t-shirt and jeans there's nothing wrong with that 
But, yo. Brush your tongue. Take a shower. You know, like, wash your hands. You know, don't shake hands unless it's like a professional setting. If you're in a casual setting, do a fist bump, man. Don't give that. Don't, don't give that. Don't give too much that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how many people go to NAMM show every year. I'm sure it's around the hundreds of thousands of people. You know, NAMM show is huge. And you don't know what conditions the people are in. You don't know what condition the building is in, what the filter is missing in the filtration system. Like, I sound like Monk. I sound really OCD. But, like, these are things you should really, really consider for real. Um, like... Again, like, you don't want to give someone that, and that person didn't wash their hands, and then they got traces of doo-doo, like, <laughs> you don't want that, because then you give someone that, and then you end up scratching your eye, you might end up with pink eye, you know, and we know how bad pink eye is, you know, like, Oh no, baby, what is you doing? You know, just like, <laughs> but it's like, yo, like, again, carry some hand sanitizer, carry some hand soap, carry some gum, carry some toothpaste, carry a mini toothbrush. Also, like, go to beat, like, before you leave for NAM, don't even get hand sanitizer for yourself. Like, stock up on them joints. Stock up. Like, Get, get some hand sanitizer for the homies. Buy an air purifier. If you if you really serious, though, buy an air purifier for the hotel room because you don't know how dirty those rooms are. You don't know if somebody was, you know... Before you came in and didn't clean up and you don't have a black light with you, you know where I'm going. You don't, you know where I'm going with this, you know? So, like, bring an air purifier, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of going, like, on, on left field, but do whatever you can to come back from NAM show not sick, you know? Keep yourself healthy, um, you know, the food... It's going to be overpriced, so try to find a grocery store, maybe. I don't know. Stop, if they got a fridge in, in, in your hotel room, you know, instead of spending $23 at the burger food truck, you know, find a grocery store. Find a Vons or something like that and stock up on groceries for, for, the, for the weekend so you can save yourself a couple hundred bucks from spending on food, you know. Um, but, yeah, you know... That's all I got to say on this, man. Like, the main focus is get yourself some hand sanitizer for you and your homies That's in your if you're rooming with other people or share hand sanitizer with, with your with your, with the companies that you're you're endorsing. Like, yo, I don't want you to get sick, so here's some hand sanitizer. You know, just bring hand sanitizer out to people that you care about, you know, that might be at NAMM show. They, they, they will appreciate it. And then, you know, like I said, go to Sam's Club, go to BJ's, get boxes of them joints. Get some, get boxes of gum, get boxes, get boxes of hands. Ha <laughs> I am the box ghost. You cannot hold me. The hand sanitizer, get, you know, get, get the big bottle of, you know, I mean, if you can fit it on the plane, you know, get the big bottle of soap or, you know, just, that's all I'm saying, man. Just, Namthrax is no joke. Um, you can use these same things for, for, uh, for cruise ships too, you know, like you don't want to catch no GI on a, on a cruise ship because, Ooh, yeah, that ain't no joke. It's not pretty either. Um, but yeah, man, if you're going to land out a big fudge dragon for all the world to see and the toilet flush, get out the stall, wash your hands. For 30 seconds sing happy birthday to yourself twice make sure your hands are clean and then go on your day 
You know, don't be coming out of your hotel room musty, you know, and then trying to cover up your scent with, you know, axe or or marijuana. You know, like it's just like that's just that's just not a that's just not a good look on you. You know what I'm saying? And um. I think that's all I gotta say on, on, on the subject, man. I mean, I'm not trying to attack no one. You know, it's just like, I'm just going off experience and what I've witnessed and what I've heard other people talk about, you know? Like, I'm not a killing musician, but again, I stay quiet and I observe what's going on and I want to share that with y'all. I mean, I don't have that much of a following, but... Why not start the second season of Ted Cast talking about Namthrax? So, anywho, um, go ahead and check out my Patreon. Um, like you can give, like a, a, you can basically pledge a dollar a month, ranging to twenty dollars to fifty dollars a month. Um, you get different perks, and the 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 more following I get, and the more income that I get. The more that I can give back to you guys, because right now I can't really do much because I'm basically rebuilding my brand as we speak. So, um, I think that's all I have on the subject of Patreon. Uh, so far, I have seven backers, and I appreciate every one of y'all. But um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, y'all, I'm out. Again, thank y'all for checking out this video. And we'll talk soon. Peace.